Hello guys, Nikos here and this video is all about testing a map. So uh, how to test a map. So it's like a guide to how to test, really test good a map. The first thing you should test, uh, you should go to layers, you, you first should test in the editor and then on, on game, on a test server, on a LAN server. So first thing you have to do, press on layers and check out all the layers. So I suggest you, uh, so at the sample, let, let's say at the sample I'm a map, I'm a, a really good mapper, I, let's example, let's say I did a map, I put some, uh, let's say DDNX stuff here on, uh, the, some lights on, and uh, I put them on extra now. Now, as you can see now, they are red. This means that they have to be embedded. And uh, if a mapper didn't do that, then he did wrong. But also, if uh, he puts background cloud in embedded, and that's right now it's blue because uh, blue or purple if you go into it because we never use it so now we will use it just in a sec but as you can see uh, now it's a bit of a bug in the editor now it will look white so it will look like it's, it's okay but really it's not okay because uh, it's taking more resources to the game because the game is downloading a thing that it has to download because he already has it so this thing must be external i suggest you to just put everything external and then uh, check the, um, the red things and just put all the red things in embedded so it's uh, red, only the red things naturally in embedded and also you see, if you see a blue thing so let's make an example with the latest so the blue means that uh, the mapper never used it you should just do a screen and say mapper you never use this thing you you should put it away because really it's only taking resources so another thing to say is um, the another bug that everybody does. I, I did it on my first map. I did a map long, uh, three thousand block. So uh, this is my map, okay? This is my map. And um, I mean, I just say I want to make my map longer. So I must just take this. See, it, it even says you. You are trying to set the height of wide of a map a layer more than one thousand tiles. I did in three thousand. So let's do this. Just go fast. And then I say, well, then let's continue mapping and here we just finish it so this is the end line yeah i finished my map i i will release it on the net and this is how long the map is so you just make a screen and say oh my god this is so large <laughs> and the mapper should fix it so another thing i i didn't uh, did a video about the quads yet but if you uh, put a lot of quads together so let's just add um yeah let's just add the cloud and let's just you know do this if you uh, put a lot of clouds, um, so like this, uh, computer with computers may just you know uh, go uh, really bad. I mean, will how can I say it? They they will struggle to load them, and so it will um, write. They can they cannot play the map. So if you put a lot of design stuff, not not like this, but I suggest you to put some of them in HD. And you do it by this, placing this thing and doing data to yes. So only person that in the option have activated the ISD, like me, because I'm a, I have a good computer, <laughs> really, sorry, and um, uh, they will see it. So it's actually, we reload the map right now and um, we do reload, uh, recon, sorry, reload. Uh, as you can see, we can see this, but if we put the oops i messed up if we put the isd off we cannot see it now naturally this is not uh, about it i mean if you are playing uh, a map you don't have to remove all the details like cloud and sun you just have to um, do the less important ones and naturally you don't have to put in hd ockable or unockable or or uh, the the this background here if you put this in hd it will look weird really weird i'm gonna try it out uh, it will look grey, but to people that aren't the DNet client, client, it will look like, um, I mean, all buggy, all, all the three colors bugged out, and um, it happened to me in Billy Map versus 5, and uh, I just played without eye detail, and it was all buggy, because in, in that map, the map that did that map, I don't remember what who did uh, Billy Map versus 5, version 5, did this error to put everything into HD so you cannot see nothing when you do that but anyway this is another bug now really, you have always to check it out uh, check out uh, uh, the bugs of the design so basically if um, I should put a um, ockable so let's do uh, sample this 
Uh, yeah, I, I know I should put them bedded, but I, I have everything, so who, who cares? Uh, at the end, uh, the things I uh, I test are already downloaded on my computer. So uh, when you are testing only in LAN, and you, you don't have to put anything embedded. But when you must show it to the world, some people could not have a DDNet client and won't see this thing. So let's do an example this, let's do an auto map, let's do just one of smell blocks. Nice, good. And then, uh, I mean, some people that don't know the auto map will just do this. We just take all the game and try to put it on this thing. That's why you can use, I will remove this, you can use the auto map to just. Uh, you know, get, do game tears and hock a ball, it's really easier. But I mean, if somebody, as you know, makes an error like this and it bugs the map out, you, you should check it out. So you should test all the map um, in the two different modes. Now, I don't know why, uh, yeah, I, I didn't put the spawn point. I'm smart. So let's follow the map. And um, okay, as you can see. Uh, naturally, if you test it like this, you will see the difference. But if you also go in DDNet and do overlay and TDS and you put it half, you can see things that uh, are buggy, just like this. Even if I don't like so much, so much this mod, because I, I cannot understand which is which, and sometimes I, I really confuse myself saying, wait, this is hackable, this is not. And sometimes there are some bugs like uh, this, where you, let's put an... Basic freeze, yeah, let's do basic freeze. Yeah, it must be uh, embedded. And uh, let's just put it. Sometimes people just say, oh, I want some freeze here, some good old fashioned freeze. Yeah, first of all, the freeze should be in a layer, in the layer before this, so kinda cool. Yeah, uh, I, don't want, I don't want it to bug out. So I just want some good freeze. Let's put some of this. Oh, wait, why is not happening? Oh, I. I messed out with the, the wrong thing, so let's make it a little bit transparent, let's make it yellow, yeah, cool. And let's make uh, three soft corners. Why? Oh, really? Yeah, did you see? It took a lot of time because the map is huge, so it's checking for three in all the map. Yeah, I know. Uh, just let me stay here. <laughs> really, guys, uh, that was amazing. That was a thing. Oops, I deleted everything right, right now. I'm not so good of a mapper. <laughs> no, I'm joking. And um, so, um, let's just, you know, game tears, walkable. And uh, so, uh, let's see, I want to put the freeze. And then he just says, no, I don't want to put the freeze. Let's remove it. So, as you can see, here, in this case, there is nothing wrong. But uh, as you can see, beyond this wall, behind this wall, I will just remove the wall. There is always the freeze. Now, if it's unhockable, naturally you don't see it. But if we do replace uh, uh, this guy, generic clear, with a uh, uh, grass, grass main, at that sample, and yeah, naturally now it's all buggy, so I should do the, the auto map again. Is it this one? Yeah. As you can see here, we will see the yellow because we will see the yellow of the freeze that is always behind. So this is even a bug, and you, you must be really careful. I mean, if you're a tester, you should check. Now it's really visible, but in the other terms, it's really sometimes it's really not, and you cannot find that bug. Now uh, the last bug I will show you is this, uh, a bug uh, really common. So let's take um, this is uh, this is not how to test. I mean, this is the the most common bug that you can find in testing. After this, I could release a map all bugged, and it's a um, thing that you have to ch um, see. Um, and check the bugs if you're a noob and then in the next video I will tell you if um, you found all the bugs in the map so uh, let's just say oh, wow <laughs> these are all things um, let's just go in font a font I want a font like this one and naturally it must be embedded like this all of this so let's just say I do a font like here and say care yeah, because the next part is really fail, it's the, the, I think fail, I mean, let's do like, uh, in game, I put like, uh, uh, dead are what are they? Oops, I, I put the borders, oh my god, I'm, I, I'm bad. Anyway, I put care, as you can see, uh, see, you, you must care in this part. So then there is a person that just, uh, did I say? Yes, he did. Yeah. Then there is a person that just says um, that has as the um, this version. Now in this case, naturally there are dead that You can see it even if you are the the overlay. But let's just say let's just do like oops, 
Wait, wait, we don't care if it's buggy, okay? Uh, we don't care. <laughs> we, mm, let's just do that down here there is a lot of trees that you cannot see and so uh, you must write um, uh, there is written care just to say care because down there there is freeze i didn't say right i ah, know it is it so down here it says care okay and i say thank you okay i will uh, but if somebody has this mod he won't see that it's written care so it will just go normally and then it will die so this is basically it. How to fix this thing? In game, you must put the turn off and TS thing. I will put it here at the sample or here. I mean, I don't know where you want it. This thing does nothing. It's just a thing that says careful. Uh, I mean, it just says uh, when you are in this mode. I didn't say. Oh my god, I'm really bad at this thing. I didn't say. It just says um, when you are in this mode, as you can see, it tells you to turn off entities. entities and so you press the button and you, you will check care. So if a mapper does this kind of part where it says care or says something else uh, that you need to know to win the map and something that could really do something bad to you, so uh, you must put um, the map and you, if you are a tester, you must uh, say, you must fix the map. I mean, you must fix the map, you should report the bug, but uh, still, uh, the mapper should say turn off entities, entities sorry, uh, because if... Um, if a mapper doesn't do that, it's like that the person that used the uh, overly entities uh, will die always. And there are some people like, um, I mean, I don't, I don't remember who was it, but there are a lot of persons that prefer to play in this mod because they, they can see all the things. And it's a very bad thing because it's, uh, if the mapper says care and you don't even see it, you will just fail. Uh, so. Uh, this is it. So basically these are the most common bag that you can find in your map. So oh my god, this is really long. Let's make it shorter. Okay, this is uh, all the bugs that you can find in your map. I mean there are yeah, there are other ones, actually other types of ones or others, but the most common, the the one you should check for are these. And then naturally there is the thing, uh, the rating. So you must see if a part is unbalanced. So there is a very hard part, an annoying one, and there is a very easy part. And that is not moderate. This is that is trash map because the map must have always the same difficulty, uh, the same rate uh, for all the map. So a moderate isn't a hard plus a easy map. A moderate is a is a it's a lot of difficulty. It's a difficulty. Um, um, a map a bit fairly but with easy part or a map with uh, a bit of hard parts but uh, not too much fairy like uh, escape from the prison of um, of um, yeah uh, uh, I think it was uh, Nova yeah and now it's called Nova so um, like that map or um, I must do an example of a fairly easy map like like Consciousness by Fnokurka I think I don't remember yeah, Flokurka, I did good. Uh, and so, um, um, yeah, uh, that is a fairly map, but it's short and it's uh, a bit like uh, easy. Uh, part are easy. I mean, it's fairly. I failed at the last part. I already told you. I don't remember. So, uh, and there is Escape from Prison that has uh, really um, a bit of hard part, hard drag parts, and it's not that much fairly. It's a bit fairly, but it's also short. So this is what um, uh, are the moderate, the brutals are all fairly and such, but I mean, you can map whatever you want, but you you always are easy or hard, you never have to do annoying parts like, uh, um, yeah, you know, annoying part where you must jump at the right time to do something, or parts where you just have to struggle and you, you just have to do it a lot of times, really annoying. So uh, basically, these are the hints I can give you as a tester and a mapper. And now it's way easier to test a map in GDNet. So I suggest you um, to become a tester because a lot of time ago it was a bit harder to test a map. You had to become a trial tester first. Uh, to become a trial tester, tester, you had to test. But you couldn't test because uh, there, um, the maps... Uh, uh, you could download only the maps that were already on the on the servers. You couldn't download the maps that you had to test. So you had to PM the, the private message the the author of the map, telling 
hey, I want to test your map. No, now it's really easier. I mean, it's not like in the past. Now it's really easier. You can download the map that you want. You have even the password of the test server. So uh, basically, this is it. Uh, I mean, I, I, I've gone a bit of a road with the story, but I think this helped you um, a lot uh, if you want to become a tester. So I hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.